How's it going everyone? Daxools here and today we're going to be checking out Hydroneers again by Let's Game It Out and this time he shoplifted his way to another million dollars. Let's get straight into it. And away we Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Hey, We're playing Josh. Hydraneer today. My favorite Woo! game where you're supposed to go panhandling for gold and minerals to make a whole bunch of money. And in my case, trying to get life. rich doing all the things the game doesn't want me to do. <laughs> Let me catch you up on what I've done before. First, we visited the shop and trashed it. Then we went over yep. to the river and did some fishing and I trashed fishing. it. Then realized we could sell all that fish for a bunch of money. And then we actually sure. did some panhandling and found some mm -hmm. gold, melted some stuff down. And then we went to the big city where you can buy all kinds. Oh, someone pointed out last time that, yeah, the fish, he had a lot more money from the fish, but he took longer to get the fish than he did to get all of the gold. So, yeah, that's a good point. Fair kinds point. of other fun things. And that's when we found a way to steal stuff, like these really expensive thrones, which you can steal, put nuts. in your truck, drive them over to this thing, melt them down, and then sell these crushed metal cubes for tons of money. And that's how you end Yo. your playthrough with a money bin like your Scrooge McDuck. But that was last time. We're starting Yo. fresh all over again. Oh, okay. There's been a lot of patches fair, since the last fair. time I played, so we're going to see if there's a new fun oh. way to make our millions. But just a quick primer, here's how the game works. You got a little bucket, a big bucket, and a brush. Mm -hmm, oh, and mm -hmm. you've also got this shovel. Here's pretty yes. much what you do. Take all this crap, put it in a central area, grab your shovel, dig some dirt, shove it in your bucket. Keep doing this till the bucket is full, <laughs> despite it being on its side. Take that bucket, <laughs> dump it in the bigger bucket, head over to the river, get you some water, which is conveniently containing its water within the water in the bucket like that. Drop the water in the bucket, grab your brush, and do a little well, scrubby scrub. Ah, fresh minerals. Looks like some iron and gold and do this over and over and scrub your problems away and before you know it we got all kinds of fun minerals which we can take and sell for money which is not this place by the way this is where we buy some tools and equipment is we'll just get to that steal later stuff again? for now instead we're gonna head up this hill which is where the jeweler is also known as my personal pawn shop hello there unsupervised table i brought some this, goods George. for you how much you can i get for us? them 365 huh what a coincidence that's how many days in a year i don't want to spend making money the intended way now let's see what nice. we can do with that coinage. As mentioned now before, stealing, over buddy. here we can buy tools and equipment. Let's just leave this bucket outside for now. And let's take a quick gander what our 350 or so coins will get us. Well, based on the price of this grinding wheel, I'm gonna go with more than a little and less than a lot. Not everything's yep. that expensive though. Some things are cheap, like these pans. Either way, mm -hmm. it certainly adds up. 52 here for a fishing pole. Light post for 160. Oh my goodness, this mining helmet's 361? And this world map is 45? Jesus. I'd rather just be lost forever, thank you. Anyway, the point being is we're gonna obviously need more money because if we take these things put it on the buying platform like let's say we wanted to buy all this stuff starts to yep. add up fast doesn't it 1203 mm -hmm. i don't have that kind of money in my magic bucket and i definitely on, don't want to mine for it we know you're gonna that's about it. mining this didn't work yep. last time but maybe i can just walk off without paying nope it just nope. disappears out of your hands let's just try this one more time you know a different what you direction. gotta do buddy Okay, still doesn't work. The game does have, like, a nice way to help you place things, though. Let's see, what if I, like, bring it outside of the area and then just drop it? Okay, it's technically out of bounds now. Does that mean you're free now? I'm gonna go with no, because I can't actually interact with it in any way now. So can I get things outside the shop? Yes. Can I use them once they're out here? No. Can I make a huge mess? Always. Wait, so, so I you guess can't just push like it before, anymore? I'm gonna settle for that. This is my medieval version of a Yelp review. One out of five stars. Wasn't allowed to steal, so I trashed wow. the place instead. That's aside, I think I found my favorite new ASMR sound. Are you ready? Ah, uh, okay, well, I feel better fine. now. I didn't get something for free, but I did make something worse than I found it. And that's really half the that's battle fair. if you think about it. So believe it or not, I actually have a plan to make money. But before okay. I show you that, we need a backup plan in case it's too much work. Last time we made some money simply by fishing in the river and selling the fish later. So let's struggle True. through this mess and find a fishing rod. Come with me. Okay, let's take this thing out and do some fishing. Last time we did some fishing kind fish of around than... this area. Let's see if this holds true if we go down river. So let's see. Huh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Huh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there it goes back into the water. Fishy, are you okay <laughs> down there? Fishy? Huh, no. The fish is very much not okay. Well, come Still with dead. me, fish. Let's see how much you sell for at the jeweler. Here, have a fish. So, obviously, eight coins eight isn't really points. a lot, which is why we're going to do just a little more fishing. There we go. That's more like oh, it. In fact, I think we got all God. of them. All how the is his frame rate holding right up? Here in these weird fish columns. Okay, now that we've got the trust fund secured, the fish trust fund, got the trust front, bucket? let me show you how I'm going to make actual money. 
money. Now you may notice everything is cleaned up. That's because when you restart the game, everything you didn't pay for disappears. That is, uh... except one item, this water pipe valve. I don't know why? why, but if you put one down, return to the main menu, load your game back up, the pipe is still here. Oh, and more no, than that, now the game thinks I own it. it. Which I guess technically means I do. And I can pick it up, put it down, and do anything I want with it. And I oh, really did try this on everything big, else in the shop, but after a mistake. restart, it really is the only thing that's still here. So I guess oh. that means I choose you, pipe a chew, for shoplifting. It's a little complicated, though. I'm not sure how to do this efficiently. Because normally I would use this truck here, because mm -hmm. commonly I can just pick stuff up, walk it right on over here to the back, put and just leave back. it in here. And while yeah. normally this would work pretty well, let me show mm -hmm. you something that happens here. Let's put the truck okay. in position like we were going to do a good old-fashioned robbery. Ideally, it'd be great to get this mm -hmm. pipe into the back of... My guess is the pipe's going to stay there on the spot floating and not be in that the car. truck and do it without having to spawn it here and then restart the game to make it whole. Because if I don't restart the game and I try to walk it out of here, it just disappears uh, like normal. And even though I could more, pick right? this thing up, walk it to the boundary line and then use the placement tool to drop it somewhere out here, I still can't pick it up or do anything with it until I restart until the restart. game. What I would okay. like to do is take one of these things and immediately put it on the back of the, the truck. truck. But if I do that without paying for it or restarting, the moment it hits the truck bed, it disappears. And the reason we want it on the uh, truck bed, which I'll explain with one of these ones that's already been made whole, is the jeweler won't buy them. Instead, yeah, we have to have take to them somewhere else, them. which I'll show yep. you after a brief little jump, which video. is if we run down this pathway over this amazing bridge, and then just keep on running all the way to the town of Bridgepore. We have to use something here called the scrapyard. I used this last time to make my millions, so we're going to do yep. it again. If I put something down on this little grating right here, and then I head on over to this button, I can incinerate it into a nice little cube, and then I can take that cube and run that over to the local jeweler and sell each yep. pipe for 11 whole coins. So if we mm -hmm. want to make a lot of money, we're going to need a lot of pipes. There are a bunch of other stores here, by the way, stuff like housing or even more tools and equipment and other stuff <laughs> like a bunch of conveyor belts. And of course, my favorite glorious furniture. Sadly, I've tried this trick on every other store to see if it works. But when you restart the game, it all goes away. It just uh, means those so inexpensive pipes, pipes are what we're stuck with. But I think okay. I've come across an item that's going to make life easier on us, which is this pallet here. Drop items on top to lock to pallet. Oh. Use for moving or purchasing multiple items easily. Now, the problem is it's 450 coins. Luckily, I think we know a bank that's willing to give us a loan. A river bank, that is. So oh, let's see, wow. how can I... Whoa, did you see that? I just touched the magic bucket to the column of fish, and now they're in wow. my bucket. Oh my you god, this them. is amazing. My bucket runneth over 6,668 <laughs> coins. Need Don't the mind money if I do. Okay, this fish. should be enough capital to get us started. We're gonna buy a couple of these pallets. Just gonna put a couple on the buying plat. Oh. Nice. You're fine. Let's start with Skills. just three. Okay, and let's bring the pallets back over here and see if we can do something fun. Let's see. We'll just put one right here. Just Place as a test, let's see if we can put a bunch of these on. If I pick this up, do they stay on it? Great. If I carry nice. this over here and put it in the truck, does it stay? Greater. Yes. And then if I restart the game to make them corporeal, are they there when I get back? Absolutely yes. Well, Brilliant. let's load up these pallets and just see how many can stick to it. Well, I stacked a couple on there. Let's see how this works. Well, now that I've picked it up, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. So let's put it down again and see how we did. Yep. Yeah. Flip on your side. That's perfect. You know, Sweet. seems pretty good. I'm not really sure how those in the back are connected though, but they are. So I'm not going to question it. Okay. Well, with my really no limited vision. Let's see if we can get this in the truck. Okay, I think this might do it. I honestly can't even tell if that's in the truck. But hey, <laughs> let's get in and find out. Oh, you know, I can't quite put my finger on my, it, but I feel like something might be amiss. Like every game okay, you let's try that again. That's and crazy. in you go. Okay, there we go. We just had to position it better. Let's load another pallet. Okay, let's see. How are we going to get this onto the back of there? First, we'll pick on it up with it. our superhuman strength and use yes. our exceptional vision to walk over to the truck bed. Wait, can I just like lump this inside it? Ugh. Okay, I loaded the other one in and oh, uh, no. yeah, everything's fine. The game did not turn into a horror movie. This is definitely <laughs> not what my sleep paralysis demon looks looks like. Okay, you know what? Maybe we just need to tame it a little bit. Right, let's just get in. Yeah, see, look, we just have to tame it like a wild horse, and then oh it'll calm down. Or it could throw me flying. off, and I don't really think it's coming down. No, I think we're just gonna leave that guy up there. It is still up there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it sure is. Just twitching away. And I think we're maybe gonna pick Jesus. up a new vehicle. Let's see, we could get another of the same truck, or how about the newest model? Let's do Ooh, that. Yeah. I don't even know what the difference is, but who cares? That'd okay, awesome. let's try this again. What if I stack these ahead of time. Can I just mash one pallet into another? Uh, I do believe it did. I believe both pallets are now one. What about a third? What? Do we think we can shove this in? In you oh go. My oh, God. don't be oh. that way. Come back. Oh. 
Now he's lost all his pallets. <laughs> oh, oh I see. Did it have to return to its home planet? Well, I don't think that's coming back. Okay, Jeez. be nice this time. No more flying off into space, okay? See, that's much better. That's the kind of coexisting I want to see. Okay, so I think I stacked as oh many God, pipes as going to fit in this thing. I have absolutely no idea how many things are shoved to this pallet in here. It's enough that the frame rate is definitely suffering. Oh, oh my how God. it's suffering. So let's slowly but surely make our way to the scrapyard. And show, let's see how God. much our bounty is worth. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, ah, I burned the bad frame rate away. Hello, single <laughs> magical cube. Let's what? take you to the local jeweler and see how much you're worth. Tell me something exciting. A cool 3,547. Let's see, to become wow. a millionaire, we only need about 280 more of these. Well, better get started. Wow. Wait, wouldn't it just be easy oh, to hey, get fish? I didn't see you there. Me? Oh, I'm just holding a cube. I was gonna put it oh, on my cube wall here. Let's see. Let's just find a place for it. I don't know. Somewhere in the back, I guess. Wow. Yeah, just kind of shove it in there. Whatever. And with that cube, we did it. I don't know how many trips that took or how many pipes are in there, but who cares? We're a millionaire again. As you can imagine, I had a lot of time to think while I did all that shoplifting and also okay. staring up at our beautiful pipe god that has finally oh managed God, to calm there. down, but thankfully is ever present at all times. So I'm gonna start buying some. Some stuff. I'll sort of explain the process as I go. So this little device got added to the game recently. The compressor compresses Ooh. uncut regular or compressed gems. How many gems do you think? Mm. I think there's only one way to find out. Let's see if there's any <laughs> limit to how many gems we can compress. Of course, that means we have to dig them up. So let's buy some of these ram drills because we can mm -hmm. use them on top level dirt opposed to these goliath drills, which we have to dig down and do a little bit more work for. And do I look like someone who's ready to waste time? So let's go no. ahead and just back uh, up the truck. Throw yes. all this crap in to the yes, back. And we can't are. forget all kinds of pipes because everything in this game is powered by water. And we're going to make one last pit stop at this little store over here that has conveyor belts because who doesn't love <laughs> those? And now that we're all suited up, let's head on over to the dig site, also known as a Yo, big empty space. dirt lot, which of course yeah. the game makes us pay for. Not like this price matters. You insult me, game. Be gone with the sign. Okay, let's get started. First thing Wait. that we're going to need to do is establish a water source, which is going to be this little dock right over here. For that, we're going to need our pipes, which we're going to put down nice and delicately. First thing we do is take a nice pipe, shove gently. it right into the ground, which endlessly pulls water and makes this horrible, horrible noise. Look at all that water. Yeah. And you remember this lovely pipe that we kept stealing? We're going to use that to shut it up. Thank God. And from there, we're just going to kind of build out the pipe system. But before we get too involved in that, looks like it's going to start to get dark soon, which reminds me, I forgot to pick up a bed. So let's oh, run all no. the way back to town to buy one. Hello, furniture shop. One fancy bed, please. Away, and now let's run this nice child bed all the way to the job site. And I mean, child I child. could place it like right here, or I could place it down here, completely submerged in dirt and water. Um, uh, restful sleep, not being oh able to my breathe. God. My favorite. I feel so rested. So for starters, we're nice. just going to keep on with our pipe system until we can get it all the way over to the dirt. There we go. Looking good. So now that we've <laughs> run the water pipe, let's get one of our drills. Okay, let's see. Just like that. Perfect. And the way this works is if we turn it on... It digs up dirt for us. Beautiful. Now, ideally, what we want to do is get as much dirt as we can, and we could process this by hand, but obviously we'd want to automate this a little bit. And we're going to split yes. off the water so we can power this thing. This is our harvester. Break small chunks of dirt into resources. Essentially, the way oh, it works is right on yeah. top here is like a grindy thing. So if I just mm -hmm. drop the rock on it, out comes minerals. And of the minerals that eventually pop out, we eventually flying? have things like this. Uncut emeralds. So these are the kinds of things we're looking for to eventually shove into this thing to compress for all eternity. But this is just a demonstration to show how it works. I'm not going to stand here and keep feeding this thing dirt over and over again. No, That's where the conveyor sort of belts system. come into play. So let's move this thing for now. We're not going to need it. And let's place a conveyor belt right here where the rocks are going to come out. Oh, no, let's add another one flashbacks. and another one. Oh, no. And a couple of these leading up and no. another one leading across. And this oh, is God. where we'll put the harvester now. In theory, so dirt can go up here and fall in there. In theory, of course. In truth, oh. you never know until you try. So let's give this a shot and see if it works. Rock it goes works. up. Ah, that worked out great. Now what we I'm really perfect. need is more rocks for this thing to pummel through. This just I isn't enough. So let's go ahead and add some more ram drills. One after another and another. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this does oh with 10 my of these. God. Oh. Nope, seems to be doing the trick. Everything's it's just dropping good. in one after the other. I would say this is working out well. Oh, you know what? Can we just take our magic doohickey here and just like put it right here? Ah, yeah, that's great. I know it said oh, it's wow. only supposed to compress gems. But what do I care what goes in there? Five minutes later.
Could be uh -oh. overfilled. Looks like we're yep. getting a little full. So let's go ahead and pull the lever and compress it down. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of sound for not a lot of change. I can't honestly tell huh? if it did anything. What if I just keep pushing this thing over and over again? That's generally how heavy machinery it's probably works, making right? Stuff at the okay, bottom, I think I broke the lever because it. it's not working anymore. But, oh, hello. What might you be? Oh. Composite emerald. Well, oh. seeing as how I have no idea what actually got compressed into here, let's go see how much it sells for anyway. Let's see. <laughs> 60. 60. Yeah, Get this garbage out of my face. We can do better than that. So I guess we're gonna have to optimize our process a little bit. And to do yeah. that, we're gonna pick up a fun other machine called a conveyor splitter. Splits oh. off selected resources onto a new conveyor belt. I like the way you think, random piece of equipment. Okay, let's see. How are we gonna integrate this tech into this cacophony? I guess first we're gonna need to move this out of the way. Ah! Oh, well, I'm not sure God. what to do about this, but what the hell? It's not hurting anyone. We'll just force it to <laughs> mine meld with this conveyor belt. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Things are nice. gonna spit out here. They're gonna go into this machine. They're gonna fly oh, everywhere. Let's set this to gem. Wait that could have been a faux pas. And I believe what that means is the gems will pop out of the back here, and everything else will come out of this chute into this hole I've made. Because who cares about those materials? So, uh, yeah. I don't think the machine's oh, working. Although, looking at that conveyor belt, I think this is the out chute and not the in chute. Okay, so be it. Oh, we'll turn this thing from. around backwards so that uh -huh. nobody's comfortable. But it does appear to be working now. I'm seeing nice. normal minerals fall into my pit of despair, and all the uncut gems are coming out of the back front thing. Okay, Sweet. hold on. Let's get this thing under the front. Okay, and there we go. Rocks go in there. Minerals pop out there. Most mm -hmm. of them go in here. And the chosen okay. few go in here. Now all we need to do is right. wait for this setup to run for a little while, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so I've let the later. setup run for a little while. Really, so far, so good. To my total shock, everything is still working as intended. Ended. Our gem mm. thingy is full of gems, and nice. I definitely misgaged how big I needed to make this hole. So that's wow. a big old mess. Anyway, it's time we tested this out, so here we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, there you oh, go. Wow. Three nice. glorious giant gem things. Let's take these bad boys to town and see how they do. And don't Nothing. forget to wish me good fortune, Sky Car. I have high hopes for this. Oh, not bad. 4,000. Oh, and the emerald is 41. And the ruby is the weak one of the litter, but still a combined amount of 10,000. Not too bad. All that not says to me shabby. is there's room to grow. So hang on what a second. I'm going to redo this thing, see if we can get a little more production out of it. Okay. 11 hours late. Okay, so before we had these 10, and I feel like it was pretty effective. So I'm very hopeful that 681 have good results, too. How before does he I have fire frame any rate? of this stuff up, let me How? give you the tour. Naturally, everything starts over here, pulling from the water. And then the pipes run all the way here to this valve. And then the water Jesus. splits off to power the ram drills, as well as these conveyor belts. And rinse and repeat for a really long time. That Once dirt pops out insane. of these machines, it'll go down this conveyor belt all the way to the end, where it'll join up with a larger conveyor belt system where all the rocks will move from left to right up to these ramps, at which time they'll go right over the edge into these waiting harvesters, where the gems and minerals wow. will be taken over here to this splitter, and anything that's not a gem is going to get launched onto my new bed so I can sleep in wealth, and the remaining gems will go back here and be dumped in this little compartment. It could be more be simple, enough. except for the part where I, I haven't don't... tested this, so I have no idea what this is going to do to the frame rate. I mean, I've tested it with a oh, few, but not all 600 plus running at the same Jesus. time. So let's do this. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, this is oh. the worst noise ever, and my ears are bleeding every time these things all pump in again. unison. And on top of that, I think the frame rate might be having a couple of issues. But enough out of me. How are the machines running? Are they running? <laughs> well, if the spotty sound coming in and out is any indicator, things are working at peak efficiency. That and in oh the distance, you can see God. the rocks struggling to make their way over here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go see how the other side's doing, if we can. Well, look, things might be going at like 0. .0001 <laughs> frames per second, but at least the machine crapped minerals on my bed, and I do believe that's nice. a gem slowly, eventually, one day making its wow. way to the promised land. So I don't know how you couldn't call this look a rousing all those success. Rocks. Except for the part where the game is lagging so bad that I think I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> Just trying to slowly stumble my way back Jesus. over to the valve. I have the dumb idea that I can somehow salvage this without reloading. Quickly, <laughs> turn it off. Ah, see, that's much better. Let's go see what it looks like on the other side of this thing. Well, I would say in the most technical sense, this worked out really, really well. But in the practical the sense, floating? I'm gonna say about 50-50. So let's see if we can't try yeah, something. Instead of, of them. turning the master valve back on, I'm gonna mm. close off this valve right here. That once I, I tighten this on. thing, it's, it's only going to power this line right here. So hopefully that'll be a little bit more tolerable to the game. 
Okay, and there go my eardrums. Okay, this seems potentially a lot more pleasant, maybe. Still I like how I'm waiting for those little pieces to finally make their way over here. Just in the background, I see like a couple of frames of some rocks just flying away. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is still not effective. Let's go ahead and load back to before we tried any of that. I got a new idea. So I moved the valve from over here and bypassed mm -hmm. all of this stuff instead. So the only thing that gets water pressure is the very last one. I'm hoping this will be a little easier on the game. And so far, actually not that oh. bad. Yeah, this seems to be doing slightly better. We certainly have a lot though. more minerals flowing than before, that's for sure. But most more importantly, productive. my sleeping arrangements are perfect. I'm not sure what I like <laughs> more, being constantly rained on by minerals, or if it's the absolutely deafening sound of all the collision <laughs> happening. But hey, it looks like everything's technically working. And what else could you ask for? And the moment I said that, the game delivered once again. I decided to take a quick power nap despite the slowdown, and you know what I learned? When the game is running this poorly, it just won't let you leave the bed. Like, look, you can just see the days passing by. Wow. So I guess the game decided for us that this is where we're stopping. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'll be here just waiting for my sleep paralysis demon to appear again, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Sweet. Terrifying. Good video, good video, that was crazy. Okay. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, or maybe even try to check out a suggested video, or even a video that I previously made, uh, the newest video. So yeah, if you want to check out more stuff, make sure you do that. Uh, enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one as always. Later.